How's it going guys? Today we're going to be going over another leak code question. Today our question is from Amazon and it's called Sort Array by Kevin. Alright guys, so today our question is from Amazon. It's called Sort Array by Parity. Our problem description says, given an array A of non-negative integers, return an array consisting of all the even elements of A followed by all the odd elements of A. You may return any answer array that satisfies this condition. So as a quick example, if we're given the array 3, 1, 2, 4, we would return 2, 4, 3, 1. And the reason for that, again, is just because the only even elements we have in this array are 2 and 4. And so the only thing we have to satisfy is that 2 and 4 come before are other numbers which are definitively odd, right? So we're gonna place two and four at the beginning of the array, which are then followed by three and one, which are odd elements in this array. It also tells us that these other three outputs, four, two, three, one, two, four, three, one, and four, two, one, three, would also be acceptable because they don't really care about the order of the even elements as long as the even elements come before the odd elements. That's all that matters. So how do we do this, right? It doesn't seem that complicated and luckily it's not actually that bad. We need to go through this array and every single time we find an even element, we just need to move that element before all the even elements, right? So a really easy way to do this is just keep track of where we need to place any even element that we run into. So we can have an index telling us that, okay, if we see an even element, take that element and move it to this position. And the only other thing we really have to remember is that we can't overwrite the element that we're on, right? So if we find an even element, we need to take, let's say we're in the array here, we need to take that element, let's say here, and move it to our next index to place an even element at, right? Except before we place that element here, we need to take this value and move it to where we're currently at, right? Because we don't want to lose that odd number. So all we have to do is go through this entire array and every single time we find an even element, place it at our next even element index um, and first, before we place it there, we just need to take the element that's there and actually put it at the index that we're at. So hopefully that makes sense. Essentially, that'll just go through the entire array, making sure that we're placing all the even elements before any odd element. So let's start writing that code. I think once it gets down on the editor here, it'll make a little bit more sense. But so we said the first thing we want to do is just keep track of an index to place even elements at. So we're just going to say in index equals zero. And it's going to start at zero because the first time we see an even element, we need to make sure we put it at the front of the array. And now all we have is a loop going through all of the elements in A. So we'll say for in i equals zero, well i is less than a dot length, i plus plus. And now we just need our simple check, right? Is this element that we're currently on even? So we could just say if a of i, so if the current element mod two is equal to zero. So that's all, that's basically just saying, does two go into this element evenly. And if it does, we're going to get a zero, which means that it's an even number. And if it doesn't equal zero, we would get a one, right? Because there would be a remainder of one and it would be an odd number. So now if our element is even, we said all we have to do is store the element that we're going to currently overwrite, right? And the element that we're going to overwrite is always at the index position. So let's just store that number. So we're going to say int temp equals a of index. Cool. So now we stored that number. We're not going to overwrite it, but now we can. Right now we're not going to lose that value because we've stored it. So now we can actually place at index position and we're going to say plus plus. So the next time we find an even element, we're not overwriting the element that we've just placed. So we're going to say a of index plus plus is equal to a of i. So again, we're placing at our index position, the even element that we just found. And then the last thing we need to do is actually take that temporary variable and put it at the index that we're currently on. Right. So we took the variable that we're on now and we moved it. And now we're just taking that other element that was there and putting it where we are. So we're going to say a of i is equal to temp. And so once this entire loop is actually terminated, guys, we will have successfully moved all of the even elements to the beginning of our array. So all we have to do is return a. And just very quickly for the runtime, I think the runtime for this is O of n, where n is the number of elements in a. And I think the space complexity is constant, right? Because we're not actually creating a new array, we're just moving around elements that are already inside of the array that we're given. So again, I think the runtime is O of n, and I would say that the space complexity is essentially constant. So let's run this code, make sure that it works. Awesome, and it does. So guys, that's how to solve sort array by parity. Again, it's a question that's being asked by Amazon. If you guys found this video helpful, do me a favor, leave the video a like, and subscribe to the channel for more, and I'll see you guys next time.